Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be comparing the all-time loved and raved about Born This Way foundation with the brand new Born This Way matte foundation. I thought that this would be really cool instead of just doing like a plain old review and first impression video of the new one. I wanted to kind of see if it lives up to the Born This Way name and if it's as good as the original. So if you want to see my comparison slash review and first impression of the Born This Way and Born This Way matte foundations, stay tuned for the rest of the video. And if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you love makeup, this is the channel for you. So subscribe, but stay tuned and we're going to get into the review. As you guys already know for the original Born This Way foundation, it is a medium to full coverage foundation. It is oil free. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is a great aspect. It is hydrating, long wearing, photo friendly, non comedogenic. So all that good stuff, everything we love for a foundation. And it is just beautiful. It's literally one of the best foundations that I've ever used. This used to be my go to. Now I've just been more so trying new foundations. So I haven't really had a chance to get back to this one, but it is very loved. This will forever be one of my favorite foundations. So I'm hoping that this one is just like that. This one is also oil free. It says oil controlling, waterproof, transfer resistant. So that sounds amazing already. It says 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation. So just hearing that, it sounds amazing. Let's just get into trying them on. I'm gonna do one on one side of my face and one on the other. And this time I am gonna tell you guys what I'm putting on which side of my face because it's not really a who did it better. It's kind of just comparing the original to the new version to see if this new version lives up to the name of the old one. So just taking them out of the boxes, yes, I got a fresh bottle of the original. I was due for a new one. And then I got a, obviously a fresh bottle of the new one. This is what they look like right next to each other. I really, I love the packaging on this so much. It's just really classy looking. I love the frosted glass bottle. I like that they stuck with the same kind of scheme for both of these, but I like that they made this bottle a little bit different. Like it's the same, but it's different. So this one is just slimmer and longer, and this one is shorter and wider. I love both. I honestly don't have a preference. I think they're both great. Before we get into the actual foundation, I'm gonna prime my face as usual, and I'm gonna start with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. Just putting that wherever I get pores that I want to minimize. Right here on my cheeks. a Little bit on my forehead, just right in the middle there because I do get pores there. Just a teensy bit on my chin because I do get some pores there that creep up on me. Then for a hydrating primer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. Love this one for hydration. It's so, so good. Voila, we're all primed, ready to go. I think I'm gonna start with the OG Born This Way and I'm gonna do it on this side of my face just because I wanna be extra surprised when I see this one. We all already know what this one does for us. So I'm just gonna do this one first. Pump some out onto my beauty blender. Sorry, it is a little bit dirty, but it's fine. So tap that on half my face. All right, that is the half of my face with the OG Born This Way. And now we're gonna take the matte version Pump some out onto the beauty blender. Might have been a little too much. And then we're gonna do the other side of my face. This 
so I wanted to give it a minute or two just to dry down on my face but at first initially when I put it on I was like I don't really notice a difference to be honest but now that it is fully dried down on my face I am noticing that this side is more matte than this side you can tell that this side still kind of has a nice little glow to it and then this side is just matte like there is I am still kind of glowing from within but this side is definitely more dewy and glowy than this side for sure I feel like that's honestly the only difference as of right now which I'm happy about because I absolutely love the formula of the original so I'm glad that as of right now just what I'm noticing personally they have stayed true to that formulation but just made it matte so that the people who prefer a matte foundation have exactly the same thing that the OG Born This Way does, but just with that matte finish. Right now, I'm really, really liking this. Neither of them feel cakey on my face whatsoever, so they stayed true to that too. Born This Way, even though it's a medium to full coverage foundation, it doesn't feel like a medium to full coverage foundation. Your skin is still kind of able to breathe, and it's it doesn't feel like there's a ton of product on your face. So I just love that feeling and that is exactly the case with the matte. So, so far I'm extremely happy, but I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on really quick, just kind of see how other makeup sits on top and I will come back to give you guys my final thoughts and my honest first opinion of the Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation compared to the original Born This Way foundation. I'm back so I've applied the rest of my makeup obviously and I just want to say I'm so so excited because this side of my face is literally exactly the same as this side but wait this side is more matte for sure like this side has more of that kind of still glow to it it's not totally matte whereas this side was like matte until I put some glow and shimmer on it but I'm extremely extremely happy like both of them look absolutely beautiful they really really made my face just pop I just am obsessed with how this foundation looks in general and you can just see I'm having like a good face day for makeup but that is the only difference between the two that I noticed everything else stayed exactly the same so I'm totally totally happy with it I'm hoping that that was their goal just to get the same exact foundation but a matte version of it because that's literally the only difference I noticed they didn't settle into my pores differently they didn't one wasn't harder to apply than the other, one isn't like cracking on my face where another one isn't. They literally are doing the exact same thing for my face except for the fact that this side is more matte than this side. So overall, I honestly think that if you're looking for a foundation that is exactly like Born This Way or if you love, love, love Born This Way but it's just a little bit too on the natural dewy side, for your preference go for the matte version if you're a matte foundation kind of person you are going to absolutely love this stuff like I seriously am in love with how my face makeup looks right now and you guys know that I'm not in any way shape or form a full coverage kind of person you know I love my natural dewy satin finish foundations but I'm loving the matte side of my face this I feel like is going to be the perfect perfect kind of winter foundation for me. I'm definitely going to put this to good use in the colder months where I don't want too much of that kind of dewy look to my skin. So I'm completely obsessed. Like both of them just feel so natural. Like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup at all. It just feels really, really skin-like. And even though they're both kind of up there in the full coverage range. It doesn't feel like full coverage. It doesn't look like full coverage, even though it does cover everything up. But literally, I don't know how well you guys can tell, but you can kind of see on my face that I still have that kind of glow, even in the areas that I didn't put the glow. And then on this side, it's strictly just glowing right here where I put that highlighter. But everywhere else, you can just tell it's totally matte. 
So they did a perfect job on this. I don't think they could have done a better job on this. I just think it's really, really nice that now not only do they have this iconic Born This Way foundation, now they have that same iconic foundation but in a matte version for people who prefer matte foundations. So you literally have the best of both worlds. I'm so, so happy I tried this. I can't say enough, I don't really like matte foundations. I'm not a matte foundation kind of person, but I love this. This stuff sold me. I'm gonna wear it, I'm gonna use this up. Obviously, I'm gonna wear this and use this up too, but I think both of these are so perfect for when I'm feeling a different kind of look. Obviously, when I want a little more of that natural dewy kind of thing, I'm gonna go for this, especially in the next month or two when it's still warm out, you still want that kind of Greek goddess kind of look. And then this is going to be, I guarantee you guys, my go-to winter foundation. I apply self tanner year round. I always like to look tan. So this is definitely still going to be my shade. I got a backup of this one in a lighter shade just in case for those days when my tan starts coming off and I look a little crazy. But this I'm telling you guys right now I'm calling it. If I'm lying to you, call me out. But this I think is going to be my go to winter foundation for the months where I don't want that kind of Greek goddess glowing look where I want that kind of beautiful matted down kind of look and then I could just add the glow wherever I want it. It says 24 hour wear so make sure to check in the description box as you're watching the video and I'll let you guys know how this wore. I'm gonna wear it all night for the rest of the night and I'll let you know how many hours I wore it for and kind of how it lasted on my skin. So I will keep you guys posted on that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was kind of helpful to show you what you're getting into if you love the Born This Way but you really wanted a matte version. I 110% recommend this. If you are my shade or a similar complexion to mine, I have both of these in warm beige. It's the perfect, perfect color match to me right now, I think. So it's literally just perfect in every way possible. I'm so happy with this. I fell in love with a matte foundation, which is really shocking to me. So totally happy, totally recommend this. If you've tried this and you love it, or if you have tried something similar to this and you're kind of that, you want to have something similar, but you want a matte version, go for this. You can't go wrong. I just know you guys are gonna love it. If you've already tried it though, make sure to comment. Let me know your opinions. If you haven't already tried it and you've stuck around this far in the video, comment and let me know what you guys think. If you're gonna try this, let me know because I'm extremely, extremely excited right now. Please make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up for this little comparison slash review slash first impression of the Born This Way matte versus the Born This Way OG. Make sure to share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. If you love any type of makeup videos, you are gonna love my channel. So subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.